Hey guys, Marman2468 here, and welcome to my showcase. Uh, what I'm, what I want to show you guys today is my bouncy castle slash bouncy castle idea. It's good for um, map makers and server makers who just, you know, want to have these fun little add-ons to their map or server. So basically, I have here my room set with my little bed, and uh, if I step on it. Well, wait, you can see I'm in creative mode, and, uh, nothing. But when, once I step on it, um, you can see I get jump boost. So, yeah, it just, it just gives you, you know, that extra, extra little attention to detail, and that's what really matters. Once I go back on here, you can see I don't get the jump boost anymore. Uh, yeah, so, now, on to the next part of the video, which is the bouncy castles, um, I just made this really quickly, but, uh, you know, here is where you would take your shoes off, and then you would, like, go up the stairs, and since here is a little bit of bouncy castle, uh, there's a little bit of jump boost, but not a lot, level three. Once you step into here, this is where it really starts to get crazy. I think this is level 6 of a jump boost. So yeah, it's pretty fun. You just hold down space bar and, uh, you know, you can even go into the corners here. So yeah, it's, a, it's pretty fun. Um, then uh, here I made a replica. I just bumped up the jump boost even more than level 6. And, uh... You know, I think whoever made this bouncy castle, they put too much air pressure in it because it makes me jump way too high. Yep. That's... Well, we got some serious air right there. Um, And for your entertainment, I'm going to speed this up and make a montage. So yeah, that was interesting, um, and to stop it, you just, um, stop holding spacebar, basically. Whoops, oh, we still had the effect. Uh, alright, so, to make this, it's pretty simple. The way I have this set up is, um, basically under here, under the bed, there is, oh wait, let me just bring my taskbar back up. We have, uh, two... two um, command blocks that basically what these two do is they check for a player in a radius of three, three block radius. So it means they check for a player he here and here because the command block counts as one block. And once we're on, when we're on the bed, we actually have half of our body inside this block. So it sees that we're there, and so it gives us the potion effect uh, 8, which is speed, for 2 seconds, and uh, level 1. Now, level 1 is actually uh, speed, um, jump boost 2, because it starts from level 0 and, you know, goes on. Which is kind of weird, but, you know. Uh, and then also over here, the way I did this was... Uh, I have these three things right here. On these three are actually th three clocks connected to three command blocks, which uh, um, that's actually supposed to say the same thing over here and here. I don't know why it didn't say that, but um, then over here in the center, if we go up. We fly, we see the center of the places right here, and uh, we have a command block, and this command block basically is the same thing as what we have right there, but, you know, on a larger scale with a radius of 11. So, uh, yeah, and it gives us uh, 
6, which is jump boost again, and uh, for 1 second, which is just enough for us to get, you know, the lift, which uh, is effect, I mean, level 4, which is actually jump boost 5. Um, and then also here, this is also connected to the same clock. Here we also have a game rule command block output false. You can either, you know, you can also input this manually, but um, I just like to have it on command blocks on a clock in case you want to restart your server or something. So, uh, yeah, and what this does is basically if we set it to true, it's just going to span your whole uh, chat with all these command block messages. which we don't want so uh, and that's exactly the same in fact I'll show you but instead of um, five I mean instead of four level four we have a hundred which means level a hundred and one so yeah it's pretty simple if you want to make it you want to put it in the center of your you know uh, in the center of your bouncy castle or put two below your bed and what you want to do is you want to place place a hopper and then shift click on it so we get the hopper facing the other hopper and then break this hopper so you see this one is facing and then shift click and place it on here so if we go right here we can see that they're facing each other so now we connect a um, comparator right over here and then we get a command block now to get a command block you just do give then your name and then 137 which is the item ID and then you get your command block once you place it you're gonna want to write effect and uh, at all this means all players, and then you want to open brackets, the squared brackets, and you you can either put um, R equals, which is radius, which is what you're most likely going to be using. R equals 10, this will, um, well actually let's put it down to something like 3. This will affect all players within a 3 block radius. So the command block counts as 1, 2, and 3. So if I'm here, it doesn't actually give me the, the, oh wait, well, we forgot to finish it. So to finish it, you put uh, 8, which is the um, potion effect ID. If you go in the description, you'll see all the other IDs for potion effects. Then you're going to want to put the amount of time you want it to be affected for. We'll just put 2 seconds. And then the level, we can put, I don't know, level 3 which will actually be level 4. So as you can see we don't have it right here but once we break this block and go in well we don't actually have the clock running yet so uh, to get the clock running you just take a block and you put it inside one of the hoppers and you can see we have the clock running. So um, I am actually within a 3 block radius. Okay so the command block doesn't actually count as 1. Well, that's weird. So here, I wouldn't be getting the effect, but once I enter within the three block radius, I get the effect. Fairly simple, and uh, that's that's about it, really. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope it helped, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.